one they say, which one is going to be the size of PAB? So what is going to be the angle here? What do you expect the size of PAB? We expect it to be 55 degrees, okay? Yes. So we're going to say which is 5.2.1. P A B is going to be given as 55, okay? Why are we saying which this is going to be 55 degrees by the way? Yeah, so we have alt angles. They're alternating because we have P C, okay? Which is parallel to what too? A, B, S, B, S. Yeah, so we'll give you one mark for that one. And then they say, calculate the distance of A, B. You want to get what is going to be the distance of this one, okay? What is going to be A, B there? So how do you get the distance of A, B? So you know what is this one? This one is 55, okay? So what are you going to do here, uh, Jane? 5.2.2. Say the time. Yeah, so you're looking for something that has an opposite of 55, okay? And then also it has what? The adjacent of what? Of, of 55. So I'm going to say, tell them which the 10 of 55 degrees is going to be given by opposite. And okay? what is opposite? Eight. It's 8 all over yeah. AB, again. Okay? And then when you want to get AP, again, okay? if you want to get AP, what are you going to do here, Dino? Uh, <laughs> Cross multiply. So this one multiplied by this one. It says AB is going to be equal to 8 all over the 10 of 55. And then what is going to be your AB? You type this in your calculator. Right? Yeah? No, it can't. It's cos 55. I can be 8. Not 10 R, but it's not 10 R again. It's 8. All over 10. Oh, 55. No, you, 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 yeah? Sure. Yes. No, it's correct. Just the only problem that when I, the reason why it's giving you meds, and I want to talk to about it. I really didn't put a bracket yet. Yeah, I did it on paper so that you see if this is exactly the way it is. Right? It's as good if you do this and then when you don't put any, any, any I agree you, you've opened the bracket. Okay? You need to tell your calculator which you're opening the bracket and then you're closing the bracket. So if you say close bracket here, you're going to get what? 5,6, okay? Yeah, then this is going to be 5,6 kilometers. Yeah? The next kilometer. Yeah? I can. I can add. Why? Oh, <laughs> five point seven to the nearest, nearest kilometer. What is going to be the nearest kilometer? It's six, eh? six kilometers. Okay. If they say to the nearest kilometer, then we got six kilometers. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing that they say, they say if they are saying to us if AS is seven kilometers. Okay? Calculate the angle of elevation from point S to point P, okay? So what is it that they're looking for? They're looking for this angle here. So they say which we should write that into one decimal place, okay? So how are you then, are you going to get this one here? How are you going to get this angle here? Uh, J, 4.5.3, 5.2.3. Yeah. So the first thing that Jane is doing, she's going to add BS. Like, I agree, she has AP plus AS. Okay? So she's saying BS can be given as AB plus AS, okay? which is going to be equal to 6 plus 7. What is 6 plus 7? It's 13. <laughs> so we have 13 kilometers. Okay, we'll give you one mark for that, Jane. What else do you do? And then uh, uh, the theorem, I will, I will use the turn of S. The turn of S, okay? So we have opposite and then we also have adjacent, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to say to them, we have the 10. We have the 10 of S, okay? So I'm going to say 10 of S is going to be given as opposite, it's 8, okay? 
All over. All over 13, okay? And then it says which S is going to be given as the 10 R, okay? Of 8 all over 1, all over 15. And then if you type this in your calculator, what do you get? 31 comma. They say one decimal place, okay? 31 comma 6 degrees. Yeah, and then you got one mark there, and then you got one mark here, and then you got one mark here, and then you got one mark here. All in all, you're going to get your what, yeah? Informants.